The world is changing fast. New technologies, new weapons, and rising competition. Let's look at the latest developments on the global defense landscape, starting with Australia. The Australian company Electro Optical Systems has unveiled a new high-energy laser weapon system named Apollo. It combines a laser-emitting unit with an electro-optical tracking system. It can detect, track, and destroy aerial threats, especially drones. From the United States, Textron announced that it will assemble Italy's Leonardo M346 trainer jet at its Kansas facility. If selected, this aircraft will join the U.S. Navy's lead-in fighter trainer program. In France, Mario has developed a new laser targeting system. It can be mounted on drones and guides laser-guided weapons toward their targets. Russia has introduced a new robotic bridge system. This drone vehicle can deploy a 6-meter-long bridge capable of supporting up to 500 kilograms. The system, called Impulse-M, can be operated from a distance of 20 kilometers via optical cable or 5 kilometers via remote control. On a similar platform, Russia has built another system named Impulse PVO. It is equipped with interceptor drones designed to destroy FPV-style enemy drones. Each interceptor weighs about 1.35 kilograms and can reach speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour. The U.S. Army has tested a new mobile mortar system called Scorpion. Mounted on a 4x4 vehicle, it fires 81mm mortars and can carry up to 72 rounds on board. Russia has ordered two battalions of the Sarma Multiple Launch Rocket System. Each launcher carries six 300mm rockets with a strike range of up to 200 kilometers. Meanwhile, Ukraine's naval forces and National Guard claim they have successfully destroyed a Russian OSA AKM short-range air defense system. The global defense race continues. Every nation is building new weapons to secure its future and maintain its edge. If you want to stay updated on global defense and military technology, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates.